Hi there, I'm Barb Cape, president of SEI US. And this week I wanna start off by acknowledging that it's unit support week. And I have to say that our unit support workers, our unit assistants, our unit clerks, hustle every single day to make sure that our staff and our patients and clients and residents have everything that they need in order to get the job done. And we really do appreciate that support. Now, in case you missed it, we put out a media release responding to the government's report on long-term care sector on Monday. And we just posted our assessment of that report on the website. The bottom line is that when you do a review of long-term care, it's not really effective if you don't reach out and talk to the people who are doing the frontline hands-on work. Um, so if you wanna check out that report, it's on the website. It was posted yesterday actually. And so check out what we're doing with, with the CEO's report. I also wanna point out that the last time I checked, we are at about 3000 signatures on our tri-union petition calling for a wage top up for all healthcare workers. And I want to reiterate that it's for all healthcare workers, not just some, not some in some in parts of this healthcare system, but for all healthcare workers, because that's important. It's a recognition of the tireless efforts that our members have made and all healthcare members have made since the beginning of this pandemic. We are the reason that the curve has been flattened. So if you have a moment, go and check out the website add your name to that petition and get your family and friends to do so as well. Now, for those of you looking for an update on SAHO bargaining, frankly, so are we. Um, while the Minister of Health has said that SAHO is open to bargaining, our experience with them confirms that the government really hasn't done enough to change the mandate. They remain focused that, uh, that this is all that they have and they don't understand that this is bargaining and that mandate was rejected. So let's get back to the table and let's get busy. Now you can find a copy of the letter that we sent to the Premier last week on the bargaining page of our website. Coming up next week, our leaders will be heading to the legislature to take a message to government and the opposition critics at the legislature next Tuesday. And we've tried many ways to communicate and this action is an alternate way to raise the issue of the importance of healthcare workers getting a fair collective agreement. And we're hoping that this is going to be effective and we continue to work on the essential services preparation pieces. And we're looking for members to also commit to joining information pickets in all of, all of our communities across the province so that we can have a virtual rally. Now we need people to be the picture and the video taker, but we need frontline healthcare workers, you know, physically distanced, obviously, um, but we need frontline healthcare workers to demonstrate their frustration and, and show in, in a very visible way uh, that the members are not happy with what's happening across the province in healthcare, with our bargaining table, and with the decisions being made by the Ministry of Health, quite frankly. Now, if you're interested in leading or being a part of this action, you can contact uh, actions at seius.ca and we will start making a plan to pull together a virtual rally. I'll provide you with an update on what happened uh, at our action on, at the ledge on uh, at our next Facebook Live event, which is going to be June 18th at 3 p.m. And I'll be hosting a couple of our members, uh, Carmela Verwimp, and Lisa Zunti, because we want to get some of the stories and perspectives of frontline healthcare workers and what their what their job and what their life has has how it has changed during this pandemic. And for those members who are really super excited about schools reopening in the fall, we need to remember the protocols and safety that need to be in place in order to keep the students and our staff safe. And we've been talking with our member leaders, the school divisions, and with the Saskatchewan School Board Association about how to do just that. So stay tuned for further updates. It's Friday, folks. It's the weekend. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're getting some rest. Wash your hands. Stay away from folks. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye.